in this lecture i am going to discuss the paxos algorithm for the consensus mechanism in permission of blockchain so uh, it was basically proposed by lampard in uh, 90s approximately 1989 and uh, lots of the discussion was approximately uh, 10 years was the duration of the acceptance of this algorithm so in the distributed system community lots of the doubts lots of the questions was arises on this and uh, a formal proof of the algorithm has been proposed and at last it was accepted and then after the community felt that yes we can uh, have consensus mechanism in the distributed system so it's a first step of the consensus mechanism in the permission model so as i said it was proposed by lampard in 1989 and the uh, objective of this paxos algorithm is to choose a single value under crash or uh, network fault if occurred in the system as well in this the process system process will make a proposal and uh, basically three entity you can see in the figure here certain proposer acceptor and learner and this is the source of this uh, whole discussion of the paxos mechanism paxos algorithm so the system process making uh, will make a proposal the acceptor will accept that proposal or the value and this algorithm will also manage a uh, certain failures if occurred in the distributed system so there are three types of uh, nodes in the network in this uh, approach firstly the proposer proposer will basically propose some value for having consensus on that proposed value acceptor acceptor will give his opinion he will vote and uh, a kind of consensus will be done at last by accepting certain proposed value and learner are the nodes they are not uh, proposer and they are not acceptor but the state of the consensus will be inform to this node and that's why a learner will learn the which value chosen by the acceptor as a consensus now in very brief i am going to discuss all the steps involved for the consensus this paxos algorithm is considered as a very complex one so i am discussing in very simplified manner so proposer will propose a proposal number so that the other acceptor will agree on that you can uh, just take it as a uh, suppose uh, we have certain value and uh, we want to make a consensus if a student suppose there are elective subject and suppose uh, there are four options so one may propose that i am interested in this subject second one may propose that i am interested in this subject and so on and suppose the institute provide uh, just one final uh, subject which is decided by a common consensus of the class 
and that subject will be taught so in that case the one who interested in particular subject will try to find out the majority on that subject so that the interested subject he will learn so with this example you can understand that here also someone will propose the proposer node will propose a value and on that proposed value other node will reply and the the proposal which will receive maximum acceptance that is majority that will be the final consensus and it will be accepted by all the nodes in the network so this is the very basic idea so proposer will propose a number that is a preparation phase we will say all the acceptor will receive this proposal number which is uh, sent by the proposer so the proposal number will form a timeline biggest number will be considered up to date as we know that there may be more than one proposal so the up to date value the biggest number will be considered as a up to date one now how acceptor will take decision on the several uh, proposal accepted accepted by them so each acceptor compares received proposal number with the current known values for all proposers prepare basis so basically uh, acceptor will check whether this received proposal is less than the known acceptor value to that node if this proposal is less than the known proposal value to that node he will simply decline that one because it is not the up to date proposal and if is it not so then he will accept after that the acceptor will send the accept messages or decline messages whatever so accept or decline whether prepared accepted or not second one the proposal number jo accept kiya hai and the uh, accepted value already accepted value from other proposal so this is the response will be from the acceptor accept or decline proposal number and the accepted values now proposers decision making will be uh, according to the majority of uh, acceptor so proposer will check whether the majority of acceptor reject his proposal if is it so then he may update his proposal and again can uh, try to find out the majority if is it not so then he will again check whether the majority of acceptor have accepted his proposal if is it so then proposer value cannot be chosen and for this a final consensus will be accepted so majority of the acceptor having accepted uh, values then no one can select and if is it not so then proposer will send the accept masses accepting values now the proposer will send the accept masses to all the acceptor the same as uh, this proposal number will be same as he proposed in the prepare phase and uh, the value single value proposed by the proposer so then accepting a value which is which will be notified to all the learners each acceptor when accept this value for from any of the proposer then all the acceptor will notify about this uh, majority voting to all learner node so that the all the node in the network will be on the same state about the this 
final consensus. Now about the failure, if uh, acceptor fails during prepare phase, then no problem. Other acceptor can uh, respond on the proposal. If acceptor failed during accept phase, again, no issue. Other acceptor can vote for the proposal. And uh, if more than n by two minus one acceptor fails, that is uh, approximately 50% uh, acceptor are, to fa are fail, then no proposal will get a reply and no value can be accepted. So this is the limitation of the Paxos mechanism. If proposal failure, if we consider, if a single proposal, then no rejection. Proposal always be, have a proposal with biggest number, so no proposal rejected. Proposal fails during a prepare phase, then acceptor will wait for a long period of time and then someone else become the proposer. Any proposer fails during accept